Hello, Excite All Stars. This is Coach Bree. Before we get started with our STEM segment today, I'm going to give you guys a list of materials you guys can gather before we begin. So for today's experiment, you will need a bowl, plastic container or a cup, a spoon or something to mix with, dish soap, dish soap or a store-bought bubble solution, water, straws, scissors, tape, Empty water bottles, save the caps, ring of the water bottle cap, thin sock or cheesecloth, whichever one you guys have, rubber band, food coloring, white paper, white copy paper, paper towels, and your winter gloves. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hello, Excite All Stars, and welcome back to my STEM channel. I'm Coach Bree, and I have a special guest with me. Christopher. And who are you to me, Christopher? Your little brother. Yes, and also my stink bug. So today we're going to talk about bubbles. <laughs> yes, that's right, folks. We're going to talk about bubbles today. So you guys are probably wondering, what does bubbles have to do with STEM? Well, um, when we're talking about bubbles, you think about, you know, weddings, or you think about springtime, and you think about these perfect little circles, right? Well, in order for you to have a good bubble, you need to have some really good ingredients. You need water, and you need a really good soap. So today we have some dish soap, and sometimes we also like to add certain things like glycerin and corn syrup. So at home, you guys can try uh, making your own bubble solutions with either glycerin, just the dish soap, or corn syrup as well. So the bubble solution that's in those store-bought bubble um, containers like this, they usually typically have glycerin in them. So that's what makes the bubbles a little bit more able to last a little bit longer and they, they can endure that, that force of air coming through to shoot them out, right? So I put a little bit right here in this bowl and Christopher and I are gonna blow some bubbles so we made some homemade bubble wands. So what we did was we took our some water bottles um, and we took the ring off from the cap off, taped them down to some straws that I cut, or you can hot glue them, it doesn't matter. You just need something sturdy. And we're gonna dip them into our solution, go ahead. Okay. Give me this, you got it? Yeah. Here you go, oh wait, the red one's yours, I'm sorry. So you're yeah. gonna dip it in the bowl, like this, dip it. Make sure you get some more in there, and then I want you to blow. Blow hard. There we go. So that's this solution right here. So now we're gonna make our own little dish soap solution for you guys who don't know how. We don't have glycerin at home, so I'm just gonna do more soap than uh, water. So I'm gonna add in some water first, just a little bit. Yes. Can I? Blow one more bubble. Yes, you can. Here you go. You can keep blowing as long as you like while I'm doing this. All right. Then I'm going to take some of my soap here. Put a lot. I know some of you guys are like, oh, she used a lot of dish soap, and that was not the time to be wasting dish soap, but it's for the kids. You need to keep them interested. So I'm just going to mix it up like so. See, I'm already making bubbles just by mixing it up. Okay, Christopher, ooh, it smells good. So Christopher, I want you to dip your bubble wand in here as well. Blow. Blow hard. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Try again, I'm sorry. Up. Oh. Huh, I wonder why. We can't really get a good bubble out of our bubble solution. Maybe you gotta do this. Oh, you got a good one. So that's what you have to do. Oh, it's gotta, I gotta blow really, really hard? Yeah. Okay. You gotta do the same thing that I did. Okay. Oh, it popped. And I think that's because a good bubble has surface tension, meaning that there's something pulling, relaxing, the soap is relaxing the water. Water basically has like the strongest surface tension ever. Because if you just try to blow bubbles in water like this, they don't last, they just kind of disappear, right? But then 
if I blow bubbles in this solution from our bubble gun, I have a whole bunch of bubbles that are staying, right? Hopefully you guys can see all these lovely bubbles. Would you like to pop a bubble? Yeah. You couldn't really pop it, huh? Right. That's because the surface tension in here oh, is, cool. I did it. <laughs> is um, broken down by the, the, the glycerin and the soap. So a good bubble solution has a very low surface tension. That means that we're able to expand that water bubble to as long as to stretch it out as far as possible and it can hold its own. See, it's still not even popping. Look at that. So we also have a few more um, bubble tricks for you guys to try at home. Um, there's other ways for you guys to make bubble wands. You can use pipe cleaners. You can use um, a pen. Anything you guys can possibly think of, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to use it as a bubble wand. So uh, as we clean up, we're going to get ready for our next experiment. So I want you guys at home to go outside, blow some bubbles, maybe, um, you know, make some bubble solutions of your own and try them out. I will also be putting um, a link down at the bottom in the description for you guys to try to make giant bubbles, the kinds that you step into and you pull them over your head. There's a way for you guys to do that at home, which is a kiddie pool, a stool, and a whole lot of soap and water. So check back in with us in a moment. Welcome back, you guys. So we're going to finish with our show on bubbles. Christopher, I want you to pick some colors. So for this activity, you guys are just going to need some white paper, your homemade bubble wand, or if you guys just so happen to have a bubble wand, you can use that as well. Your bubble solution and some food coloring. You want to do this one? Orange. This is yellow. Huh? It looks like it's orange, but the top is yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna drop a couple in here. So we're just gonna drop some food coloring into our soap solution, just a little bit, like that. All right, so what Christopher is gonna do, he's gonna swirl his wand around like this. Here you go, you can pick this up. You're gonna have to get a little closer, stinky. Hold it. And I want you to blow into it over the paper. Oh, wow, look at that. Do it again. Hey, look, you can swirl it around the other colors. Oh, your wand is breaking. That's what happens when tape meets water. Here, blow again. Keep, okay, so I'm gonna try it with them. I'm gonna swirl it around like this. Ooh, we getting some, some cool creation. I mean orange because I swirled it around with the orange and the red. The yellow and the red. Oh. It just looks orange, remember? Oh, this is really Ooh. pretty. Yeah. Can you guys see that? Uh-huh. So you guys can do this with a bunch of other colors. And the more colors you guys use, the prettier it'll be. And the closer you get to your paper, the, the cooler it'll be as well. Um, so that's also another activity you guys can do with your kids. It's fun for all ages. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. Um, and then our last thing we're going to do is, is we're going to do a rainbow, whoop, a rainbow um, sock bubble maker. So what we're going to do now is, Christopher, you finished? You want to keep going? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's the last one. Thanks, bud. Alrighty. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna put that to the side. So next we have here our rainbow um, bubble makers right here. We have a sock, or you guys can use cheesecloth or whatever thin material you guys can find. So I have a sock here and a sock here. And um, sometimes you have to tie them off for rubber bands. I found like this weird scrunchy thing to hold this sock into place. So. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like without the colors, just so you guys can see, make sure it works. So I'm going to dip it into our uh, previous water solution that we had earlier that me and Christopher made. 
dip it in like so, so it's nice and right at the bottom. And then you're just gonna put your mouth over the water bottle um, opening. And you're not gonna suck in, you're gonna blow out. So, <gasps> there you go. So you guys got some nice foamy bubbles. Here you go. <laughs> so you guys got some nice bubbles and whatnot. So now we're gonna do it with the colors. It's just kinda like soap. It is soap. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is also maybe a fun way for you guys to wash hands, whatever it may be. Um, but this is just one way to do it. So now we're gonna do it with some colors. So Christopher, what colors do you wanna use? You want to use, you want to make orange again? Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our food coloring and move our beautiful picture out the way. So now we're going to take some food coloring. So we have yellow. And red. And red. And we're just going to put some dots on the end of your sock. Make sure you guys are using a sock that, you know, you don't really mind if it gets cut up or colored and dyed. Um, I don't want you guys, you know, messing up your good socks. So a little red. Okay, good. So now, Christopher, I want you to dip the bottom of it into your bowl. Oh, wait. I, I want to do it. Go ahead. Dip it. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So now, blow into it. Blow. Not inhale, just blow. <laughs> good. Ooh. So now you got, he has some orange bubbles he gets to play with, right? Yeah. So now it's my turn. So I want to do blue and the colors that's already in there. So I'm going to add a couple of food coloring drops. And I'm going to dip it in here. Now my hands look orange. There you guys go. There's my bubbles. And Christopher stole my bubbles. And then give us some to you. Okay, yeah. thank you so much for sharing. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. So now our hands are blue. But it's food coloring, so it comes right out. I'm just going to continue to let him make a mess. Um, so we've done that. So now we're going to go wash our hands and clean up again. So I'm going to take another little break, and we'll be right back. You gotta blow. I'm blowing, but it doesn't actually work that well. Huh, we probably have to refresh our bubble solution. So let's add a little bit more soap. Hi, welcome back, guys. We are still making bubbles. So right now, me and Christopher are trying to make more bubbles in our solution. Wait a second, Christopher. More water, add a little bit more water. Didn't work. It didn't work, so I'm gonna give you some more soap. Ooh, that made bubbles. Yeah. All right, wait for me to mix it in first. Oh. Mixy, 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 mixy. All right, now I'll try it. Oh, you had a big bubble there. Huh? Oh yeah. Yep. Let me try mine. Oh, I had a big one. You had a ginormous bubble. Right, so I'm going to tip yours up like this. Now you can blow, okay? Okay. Hold it. Don't hold it down onto the bowl. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was a see. big bubble. And do it by yourself? Whoa. <laughs> there you go. You got it. <laughs> So this, as you guys can see, can be a little bit messy. That's why I have these little mats down. But um, Ooh, now that Christopher and I are done with our bubble races. It's like a gold. It's like a... It's like a... A globe. Yeah. Yep. Boop. So now I'm going to show you guys why surface tension is really important. So as you guys know, we have a lot of oil and grease on our hands, especially on this side of our hands where we touch a lot of stuff with. But not so much on this side of our hands. So if you wanted to be able to hold a bubble in your hand longer than if you were cupping it like this, you would want to use this out of your hand. So 
Oh, let's see if I can get a nice bubble. Almost. Maybe you gotta do, do a little farther. Do it a little farther? Yeah. Let's see if I can get more. Bubble gun? Yeah, with the bubble gun. See? <laughs> I'm able to, oh. I tease the bubble gun. I'm able to hold this bubble on my hand rather than if I was trying to do it on the other end, uh, the other side of my hand. I want to try. I want to try. You want to try? Oh, look, you got a little bubble. Yeah. You got a bubble. So now we're going to try it on the other side of our hands. Oh, nope. Nothing. It doesn't want to take. So another way we can be able to hold our bubbles. I have a tiny little bubble on my hand. You do have a tiny little bubble on your hand. That's cool. It is cool. So another way that we can hold bubbles in our hands is if we use something like gloves. So I don't have any gloves big enough for Christopher. So he's going to have to put on this very clean sock on his hand. So here, put your hand <laughs> All right. Spread your fingers out. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unscrew this. Dip my straw in. Ready? Oh, it popped. Ready? Let's see. Hold on. Maybe I can get it with my glove. You guys have it. You're going to pop it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so let's try it again with Christopher's. Oh, it doesn't like your sock, but it likes my gloves. I wonder why. Maybe it's the type of material on the gloves versus the sock, but who knows? But yeah, so you guys, give me a second, Christopher. So you guys can do this at home with your kids. If you have some Starbucks bubbles somewhere hidden in the house, go ahead and whip them out. You guys can use them. If not, you can always make your own. You can try different solutions with corn syrup. You can try different solutions with glycerin. If you have glycerin, glycerin can be bought at Walgreens, Walmart, places like that. Um, corn syrup can also be bought in Walmart, Rouse's, Winn Dixie, whatever store is closest Ooh. to you. Um, you guys just mix them together. You want to have more soap, then you want water so that we have a good, thick, syrupy kind of mixture, not so much as watery, so that way you have a better hold of a bubble. Um, and then if you guys want to do your rainbow sock um, bubbles, all you need is food coloring, uh, water bottles, you can cut them in half. And a sock and a rubber band and you guys are good to go um so thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you guys next week i want to say thank you to my stink bug for helping me demonstrate some of those cool activities and being a very good participant um do you have anything to say to anybody uh, nope okay bye guys see you guys next time with the camera